Okay, so now we're going to talk about inputs and outputs for PLCs. Okay, and inputs and outputs can be broken into digital or discrete. Now inputs and outputs can be broken up to um, digital inputs or discrete. Okay, usually these are 0 or 1 in Boolean logic or say 0 or 24 volts uh, in terms of the actual signal. Okay, and they can be broken. These inputs and outputs can be discrete or they can be analog. Okay. Now discrete signals for PLCs are a little bit different than the discrete output signals for some other hardware devices in that the discrete output usually has enough power to uh, power things like coils and solenoids and such. Um, discrete inputs also uh, can take the, um, basically they sense the state of something. It might be the state of say a push button, okay, the state of a micro switch which is a subset of push button. Could be, say, some uh, limit switch, which could also be a micro switch or a push button. But some sort of on or off when the switch is closed, it sends a signal, a high signal into the PLC uh, discrete input. And you can also have things like uh, uh, relay contacts Okay, which uh, when a relay closes it sends power to the discrete input of the PLC. Okay, these are all inputs here. Okay, and we can also have analog uh, inputs. These can be say from a potentiometer, okay, or a knob if you will, from a control system. Somebody wants to change the speed, they can do that by rotating pen potentiometer and it usually will give you say a 0 to 10 volt range signal. Uh, they're good for thermocouples if you want to measure the temperature and uh, sound an alarm if it gets too high. Uh, if you want to measure say the sensor output for any sort of sensor you know it could be strain, uh, could be accelerometer, uh, what have you. Okay. So any types of a sensor input or anything that gives an output, analog output, which might be proportional okay, to some physical si system. We also have um, outputs, okay, and the outputs um, can be uh, very similarly, they can be the uh, relay output. So basically a discrete output would say, turn this relay on, uh, we all know that there's uh, solenoids and relays, but we can use them just for solenoids. We can use them for uh, alarms, uh, turn on, turn lights on, uh, etc. Uh, for the analog output, they can be used to control a motor. Okay, um, they can be used to um, say regulate um, a valve that takes a proportional analog input uh, in any number of things. So uh, for the PLC that we have, we actually have some um, particular inputs and outputs that we can look at. All right, so this is the actual PLC that we have. And this PLC is made by Click. It's a Click PLC. And it has... Um, both analog inputs and analog outputs and digital inputs and digital outputs. Now the analog inputs here, I mean the digital inputs are labeled uh, X1 through X4. That's your first bank with a common C1 up here. And then you have a C2 and then you have X6, X7 and X8. And they can have slightly different uh, uh, values that they can take as an input and those are in the specification sheets for this particular PLC. Uh, we also have analog outputs where we can have a uh, voltage input which would go to these outputs here. Okay, And these are uh, the um, 
y1, y2, y3, and y4 outputs, and we have another voltage here that we can connect and get a couple more uh, di digital outputs. And if you see, each one of these outputs is associated with a light. Okay, so when they're high, okay, then that state should be high for that output. Okay, when these um, digital inputs are coming in, okay, then you're going to see um, an input here going into this input. Okay, and that would be you would see that coming into these LEDs, and these can be inputs from some of the things that we just talked about. Okay, inputs from um, push buttons or switches or relays that close the circuit that would go into the uh, primary the PLC and it would make some decision based upon the software that you write and then it could send some output uh, and make a decision okay um, what this looks like in diagram is we can have say something like this which would be a push button this is a push button and this push button could go to the first uh, discrete input and we could call this push button one and what's not always shown here in the ladder logic but um, on this side this would be the supply voltage rung okay so if somebody pushes this button then that uh, current is going to flow into this input and the PLC will know, know that somebody has pushed that button okay uh, we could also have, uh, say, a uh, limit switch, okay, and it has this little springy thing here on the end to show that it's a limit switch, and we could put that in another input, um, or we could have something like a relay coil, which is normally open, okay, and this open thing that looks like a capacitor in this ladder logic diagram icon it basically just shows that nothing usually flows this way. Okay, now if something if the relay closes, okay, you'll get something like this, which will say, okay, it's closed, so power can go from the supply um, all the way into the the input or wherever it's going. Okay, now based upon these these inputs, then we can get um, some outputs. Okay, so this output might come from here, and it might go to uh, say a lamp. Okay and alert the user that the you know temperature is too high okay and this is your grounding rung here and uh, you could have something um, say like a solenoid like hey we have this uh, pressure and um, it's reached a critical limit so close the valve okay you can also have something like a coil okay this is a general uh, symbol for a coil and I guess you can imagine that the current is flowing and it comes over here and then it wraps around the coil and that's where you get your electromagnetic force so that if there actually were a coil it would shoot through here and change its state um, based upon its designed action okay so this is a brief overview of sort of the inputs and outputs of a PLC and some basic sort of uh, diagrams that you might see on a ladder logic um, program. Next we'll talk about how the PLCs are actually programmed and it turns out that they use a lot of uh, Boolean logic which we'll talk about in the next video.